Yes, yes. The minister. Well, how many Marquises of Finch are out there? Yeah. Well, is this an instrument of communication or torture? Well, hello? Yeah. Shrimpy? Yeah, it's on violet. Yeah, very well, very... Yeah. And Susan? Yeah. Good. Good. I won't beat about the bush, dear. Whom might we know on the board of Leeds General Infirmary? Oh, hi. Oh, are you going to take that over me? I was just making myself some toast. You have to set the number on the dial and add it up too high, but I've got the hang of it now. <laughs> Would you like a piece? I was worried that Mr Branson might take it into his head to burn the house down, but I didn't think that you would. No? You should never take anything for granted, Mr Carson. Putting it bluntly, do you think Robert has thrown in the towel prematurely? Good heavens, what am I sitting on? A uh, swivel chair. Oh, another modern brainwave? Well, not very modern. They were invented by Thomas Jefferson. Why does every day involve a fight with an American? I'll fetch a different one. No, 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 no. I'm a good sailor. Well, if it's electric, aren't you worried it's going to run away with itself and sew your fingers to the table? I certainly hope not. How would you operate it? With a pedal under my foot. Well, I don't think it has any business in the servants' hall. But there's no socket in a room. Which you could take it over to the laundry. Or better still, chuck it out altogether. Mrs Patmore is not what you'd call a futurist. I think I'd got there already. Who do you call? No one you know has got one. Well, they will have. You'll see. Might I inquire why my pantry has become a common room? Sorry, Mr Carson. Do you know how it works? Of course I do. Will you show us? Certainly not. A telephone is not a toy, but a useful and valuable tool. Now, get back to your work. Mama, I'm sorry, no one told me you were here. Oh, dear. such a glare. I feel as if I were on stage at the Gaiety. We're used to it. I do wish you'd let me install it in the Dower House. It's very convenient. The man who manages the generator could look after yours as well. No, I couldn't have electricity in the house. I wouldn't sleep a wink. All those vapours seeping about. Even Cora won't have it in the bedroom. She did wonder about the kitchens, but I couldn't see the point. Hello. This is Downton Abbey. Carson the butler speaking. <clears throat> Hello. This is Mr Carson the butler of Downton Abbey. To whom am I speaking? There's no I'm not shouting. Well, who are you? Gaunt. Ah, Mrs Gaunt. No, I don't want to place a call. I was practising my answer. Well, I dare say a lot of the things you do sound stupid to other people. But why would we need it? It's a mixer. It beats eggs and whips cream and all sorts. You and Ivy do that. And we'd be glad not to, thank you very much. Should Lady Edith say why she got it? Oh, her ladyship asked her too. She wants to save us a bit of elbow grease. I don't understand. Before too long, her ladyship could run the kitchen with a woman from the village. What with these toasters and mixers and such like, we'd be out of a job. I want to try it. Then on your own head be it. I think we should start the ices now. If you agree, Mrs Patmore. Certainly, Mrs Bird. Oh, my Lord, listen to that. 
It's like the cry of a banshee. Mr. Carson's telephone is ringing. Well, isn't someone going to answer it? I wouldn't touch that thing with a ten-foot pole. Well, I will then. No, Mr. Carson's busy. But can I take a message? I just don't see why it's better than an icebox. Well, a refrigerator is more efficient. Keeps food fresh longer. We won't need ice to be delivered. But the papers will still be delivered and, and the groceries and all sorts. Or are we to stop that too? Mrs. Patmore, is there any aspect of the present day that you can accept without resistance? Oh, my lady, I wouldn't mind getting rid of my corset. Cousin Robert, did you see that the King is going to speak on the wireless? It was in the paper today. Don't be silly. No, it's true. For the opening of the British Empire exhibition. It's being broadcast on the 23rd. Just thought you'd like to know. Is this true, Carson? I believe so, my lord. Talking about the Empire, too. I wonder. If the King wants to use the wireless to speak to his people, maybe we have to listen. I wouldn't say that, my lord. Is it not a case of the King being forced into accepting a humiliating assignment by his ministers? Are you saying the King is a weak man, Carson? Never that, my lord. But even kings must bow to pressure sometimes. And should we not support him in his hour of endurance? Oh, cheer up. We can always hire one. Surely we won't be corrupted if it's only in the house for a day. Why is it called a wireless when there's so many wires? I don't know. Nothing's happening. It's just warming up, my lady. All set. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Is that Jack Hilton? Oh, God, oh, God, is this thrilling? What's this I see? Servants loitering in the hall with her ladyship due at any moment. Look at that. If, if I touch it, will I get a shock? You'll only get a shock if you listen to it. I think it's exciting. We're catching up, Mr. Carson. Whether you like it or not, Downton is catching up with the times we live in. That is exactly what I am afraid of. 